Hello, this is Scott, uh, Scott's Computer Repair. I'm here to show you how to factory restore a Gateway W35i T-Series laptop. Basically, um, you leave the computer, uh, get the computer turned on, get booted in. This is for Vista. Uh, make sure once you get booted in, make sure all your files are backed up. Anything that's important, like pictures, documents, music, that you can back up, you know. It's, this method will wipe all information on here, but uh, basically there's no certain keys you have to push during the boot process, but you got to boot into Vista itself, so just start the uh, factory restore. Once you get into Vista, you want to go down to the uh, start menu. You want to go to all programs, then you want to go down, you want to scroll down. All the way to where the folders are, and you want to look for Gateway. You'll see Gateway documenta documentation. You don't want that one, but you want Gateway. This is what you want right here. Click Gateway, and you want to start the Gateway Recovery Management. Go ahead and start that. Okay. All right, and when you come up to that menu. You want to go on top, go to restore. Then, and then after that, you're going to want to click restore system to factory default. And you to proceed to reboot the restore the system. Do you really want to continue? Yes, you do. Click yes. Then click start. And it'll tell you what's going to do right here at this point. And click OK. And let the system reboot. Don't do anything, just let it reboot. So I can start the system recovery. I'll take a moment as you've seen. Just don't do anything. You see it's starting this stuff, factory restore. Okay. This is to tell you what's going to happen. It's going to erase all information and data on the C drive. Go ahead and click Next. Set to the destination information. Just click Next. Make sure once you want to confirm doing this, wipe all existing data. Click OK. So basically, wipe all the data, like your picture documents. But make sure you back them up before you do this, of course. Or you lose everything. Okay, after that's done, go ahead and click OK. Let it reboot.
Okay. This spot where you can select like your what country you're in, region, um, time, uh, time and country, and basically your keyboard layout. Just uh, this lab in the U.S. Of course, wherever you guys are located in other countries, go ahead and change those. Click next, and it'll just leave them default if you want. Go ahead and set both agreements. And click next. Type in every name you want to use. Password is not required. That's up to you if you want to put a password. Choose whatever picture you want below there. And click next. And change, you can type your PC name here, whatever for your networking. You know, just leave it default. Choose your background, your choice, then click next. Use recommended sendings. Choose your time zone. Which I'm in Eastern Standard Time. Or your time, your clock will be off. Make sure your date and date is correct also. Click next. Alright. Um, you don't, I don't choose none of that at all. I'll just go ahead and say no thanks right now. Click next. Okay, that's how you do a factory reset on the Gateway T Series bottle number W350i. Thanks for uh, wa uh, watching my video. Hopefully, this helped you. If it was helpful for you, please like it and please subscribe. And you have a good day. Thank you.